Yeah, about the song. Um, it's not your typical love song, as I mentioned earlier. It can be a love song, but I'd like to think of it, even though I didn't write it. So, it's a song that I for anyone and everyone, for any loved one that you have. Not necessarily someone romantically involved. That's what I love about the song, because it's a interpretation. Eh? So anyone can relate to it, if you let it relate to you. And as for the sound, as I said, it's a little heavier than anything we've ever played before. Like, yeah, sure, I thought when the single was a rock song, that one was pretty heavier on its own. But you know, it's still poppy, but this one's pretty heavy. That was actually I was just chatting with Enzo Kamina before I started this 11 o'clock video <clears throat> and um, I'm so happy na he liked it because uh, you know because of quarantine restrictions and whatnot and we have things that we need to do at home and then biglaan na rin yung, ano, recording session yesterday he wasn't able to go and he just told me na Sige Pao, I trust you with the guitars because usually ever since I've never really recorded anything for Evie na Enzo wasn't be beside me. Enzo's an amazing guitar player if you ask me guys. Um, I was just talking to Brian about it yesterday na napakagaling ni Enzo mag -gitara. What Ano pa kaya kung iseryoso niya? Like, what if he went all perf de Castro or something? He can if he wanted to. We all have our different personal tastes than sa music, right? So, <clears throat> even though different from the end, we all the time. But this time around, since I was the soul that was listening to what we are doing guitara, so I talked to Brian about it, how we envisioned, well, just I envisioned the song to sound like. Um, I know what's important to Enzo is just keep it EV, keep it simple. Wag ang oko lagi ng sobrang complicated na guitar parts or whatever. Pero meron. But that was all him. That was all Enzo, not me. <laughs> um, the guitar part, I mean, na complicated. But, um, yun. When we, think, when we were thinking about the music, as I said earlier, na medyo uplifting ang message if you listen it that way. So, we went towards that direction. And, I don't know why, but when you think of uplifting songs, it's either very gospel, the music, or very rock. So we went <laughs> with the rock and sound, because that's what I can do. Since yesterday, from Mandaluyong, bus popon pa wen ang binyan. I've been listening and listening to the song nonstop. I got here, pinarin ko kahit kipat. That was when I, after. I, after I woke up this morning while I was having my coffee and I was vaping, I just repeated the song because it's the sound that I love, it's the message that I love. This is like, this is going to be my favorite all-time EV song, siguro. If you ask me, like, they're going to be great songs, I'm sure, even in the future, even in the past, of course. But this is going to be my favorite EV song and I'm so happy that everyone's going to get to hear it because it's a single. It's not just a filler track in an album. Feeding time again. I don't know where to place my camera, but. Can I do Shuri? Black one. Who just got either? This is Sapphire. And this is Ash. Um. So this is not a sponsored video, but. We've been feeding them for the last few months has been balanced pet meals. They're on Instagram. Um, they're the ones who suggested what to feed the cats, basically, and how much. But technically speaking, you know, we feed them how much they want to eat. And I just wanted to eat Whiskas because they're an artist. Whiskas is very tasty. But balanced pet meals. But balanced pet meals is the shit in terms of in terms of nutrition because it's beef and bulay cooked 
and then place on the freezer just make it fire deep lang. Uh, I'll clean this up lang muna now, and then I'm gonna take a bath. I know you guys don't want to see that, so. <laughs> Hi guys, so um, I'm um, yeah, I'm one of those guys that skincare, so I already used my facial cleanser earlier. So basically, um, three steps: cleanse, tone, and moisturize, and you know. Use a facial tissue when target on drying up your face. I said dirty on towel not then ideally. So I I don't know ideally, um technically speaking. Um that's why you use facial tissues to dry our face. Um usually got three step frost lang siya. I already cleansed earlier in the shower with my facial cleanser. Uh first thing is to tone. Yeah. So toner, um, as taught to me by my girlfriend, it prepares your skin for the skincare basically. So we'll see your room later. And yes, medyo mab of skincare routine ko na tutulong na talaga sa girlfriend ko. She's a very big ano, influence. To a lot of the things in my life right now. And kasama dapat ang oh, neck. Parang lines. So right now we basically use these products. Um, I don't know how indoors or pair of for the longest time I've been using one leaf. And that's for the both of us. I think I'll be changing soon though because I am now affiliated with another skincare line. And I'll probably post a different video once I have the products. So first of all, serum. So this is a vitamin C serum. It helps to brighten the skin. And you know, just make it healthier in general. Mm -hmm. Not too harsh. Sakto light lang para mas spread. <clears throat> and then this is called the Shoko Dual Active. The serum, it's supposedly for anti-aging. That's why, as you can see, apart from skincare, say I've only been doing this for about a year, 
or more, or a year and a half na ata. It helps with keeping myself young. Or my looks young, apart from, you know, getting away from stress, eating right, and exercising. And that's just the recent thing. <laughs> um, after that, eye cream. Para pantanggal ng eye bands and dark, um, dark spots sa eyes. I forgot to mention the time. It's almost one actually. And just tap it like that so it's light. And no, this is not a gay thing. It's a, it's a normal thing for everyone. A lot of guys can care. A lot of your K-pop idols can care. I suggest you do it too if you wanna stay and look and feel young. So this is the M. CTM, so this is moisturize, moisturizing, make sure my skin is well, I know, it's not dry, so that it's not crack, it's not bleach, but again, to keep your, your skin, sorry, that usually my laptop is electric fan when I do this, but yeah, to keep the skin not dry. <laughs> And the last is sunscreen. So the thing with sunscreen is, even if you're just at home all day, siyempre, nakapasok pa yung araw. And because of, you know, the, the ozone layer being very thin, so the sun can be harsh. But don't get me wrong, I still do appreciate direct sunlight. It's a good source of vitamin D. But I can still absorb that sunlight through the rest of my skin. But for my face, I still need to protect it so it's not gonna get too burnt. Even though alam ko hindi ako mabuti, just to keep the skin healthy na parin, lalo na yung face. Um, other people would also lotion their whole body. Um, girlfriend does it, a lot of other people do it too. But I just don't kasi medyo tamad ako. <laughs> For the whole body, but the soap that I use is moisturizing one. It's Dove. I don't really use Safeguard anymore because it's kind of dry. And even though, yeah, it's antibacterial, soap in itself is good enough to keep yourself clean. So um, it's almost one o'clock. It is twelve fifty-two. Yeah, ish. Um, after me, I think it's Enzo. I'll be chatting with you guys. If it's not Enzo, it'll be Tatic. So I hope um, you enjoyed what it looks like for a normal day for me. Because I work from home. I work flexible hours. So this is technically a normal day. So if you guys were wondering why I'm working on a Sunday, it's because I don't really like working 8 hours a day straight on a daily basis. So I distribute, distribute it out throughout the week and apart from that I was recording the whole day yesterday so I know I don't know how it's work yeah so it's gonna be heavy but it sounds good it's still uplifting it sounds dark but uplifting so medyo ganun ng EV for the longest time it sounds happy but the song is sad but this, is, this time around it sounds a little sad but the song's actually pretty uplifting and very positive ang message niya that's why I love it so much so I hope you guys enjoyed these last three hours with me ish um but yeah that's me and uh, i'll see you when i see you after the quarantine <laughs> all right bye